Okay, now we're going to create a multi version of a cog neuro test. So we're going to go back to the SSO just so you remember how to get there. And we're going to go to cog neuro. Now we're going to create a new test. And we'll name it chapter 5 econ multi. Okay, and again, I'm going to select this one. I, I, I will show you what happens if you build this one. Um, got to click on here. What it will do is once you choose the chapter, it's kind of fun, then again you can select the individual areas or you can just take all of chapter five. And it says, how many do you automatically want to select? Let's say I want to automatically select 15. And what it does is it goes through here and it says, you know what? I'm going to take 13 from multiple choice. I'm going to take one from subjective short answer and one true false. And I go, you know what? I don't really want any subjective short answer. I don't really want any true false. That allows me to come up here and say, I want them all to be multiple choice. So we're going to do that and we'll click and we will finish. That brings me to the results. Again, I can go ahead and show some more information. I can show the answer, the feedback, the difficulty, learning objective, what have you. And remember, these were all randomly selected, so it's probably good that you see some of this information. So once this comes back, then you will see all of your 15 questions here. Again, remember, it's viewing all 10, so we're going to go ahead and view all 15 questions. That's just to remember to check out and see that you've actually got all of these. Now you can see that some of these are numeric, right? So you'd say, well, I'd really like to mix those up. So that's why I chose this chapter because it happens to have numeric because those of you that are into quantitative stuff, this will come in handy for you. So now let's say I'm happy with this. I'm going to take all 15 of these questions. Now I'll go to file, print to PDF. And in this case, I'm going to go to multiple versions. And when I do multiple versions, I still get these things about adding spaces, printing the answer key. I can scramble the selections. No way. And um, this button would be really nice to be able to click right now, recalculate algorithmic variables, but it is not. So I'm not really sure if this feature is coming, but I have sent out an email to find out what the answer is. But I did want to show you what the limitations were as well as what the potential is for this. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print a version of this. And it's going to print it. I'm just going to print it to a PDF. And again, once the PDF is done, you can just click here. And I will show you just very quickly that in this particular version, this question with the graph is the first one that's going to come up. Now, I'm going to go back to Cognero and I'm going to say print me another version. Now, one thing that happens you shall notice, I don't know if I can come over here. Now you can see I've printed two versions, right? So when this comes up, I'll show you what the results are from this. Okie doke. So we have the second version of this test. I'll open this one and I'm going to show you that the very first question is not the same one as the other. So you can see this one started out with a question referring to seller's total revenue. This one starts out with something about suppose the demand quantity, blah, blah, blah. Now what you will notice is that the answer, the answer numbers are actually the same. So if I were to go back to 5-10 on another one, you will see that the answers well, will be the same. Probably another best example would be suppose the quantity demand rises by 10%, blah, 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 blah. These are all your answers on one version. You come over here, suppose the quantity demand. Again, the answer is the, the question still has to do with a 10% rise and the, an, the answer and the distractors are still the same. They're just in a little different order. So that's what you get with a multi-version.